want to record a quick video that demonstrates the new variable feature that Notion's brought out just recently. And it's something in the automations. And I think it's one of those features that lots of people sort of wonder, hang on, why would I use that? Unless you're very technically minded and yeah, things like variables are things that you think about. But um, it is, it does solve a whole lot of problems and it does make automations a lot more powerful. And I feel like if people uh, see some examples of it in use, they'll start to realize just how helpful it can be. So a very practical one for me and, and for lots of people who um, use Notion to take meeting notes, but also to record tasks, is that it's never been possible in the past to make connections to other databases automatically other than the one that you're on. Now, I've got my tasks database, right? And this is a meeting I was in today. And I want to make a task for myself in relation uh, to this meeting and this project. So put the task in, no problems. Now, this task at this point is connected to this project. Uh, sorry, to this meeting, because I'm making the task from within the meeting and I've used a self-referencing filter so that the tasks that are connected to that meeting show up. Uh, and if you see in here, hang on, where have I hidden these away? Uh, it's connected to this particular meeting that we're in, right? But the bucket, which for me is like the, just what we call projects, is empty. And that's not very useful because I want to be able to see which task this um, project is connected to. If I'd made it from within the client project, no problem. It would have been automatically connected. But in the past, it wasn't possible to do this without an external automation. But now what we can do is uh, we can have a rule that says when a task gets made, have a look and see uh, the meeting that it's connected to, what, the, what bucket that it's connected to, and set that as a variable and then put that in the task. We're going to have some conditions for this. So it's not just when any property gets added or when any page gets added. We actually want to say when the page, when a page is added and when the meeting is edited. So these two things have to be true for um, this to run. And that's really important because the automation will fail if we ask it to go and find, you know, what meeting the bucket, what bucket the meeting's connected to. But in this case, our meetings will be connected to buckets by default. And so we know that these conditions will be true. So what we're going to do, the first thing is we're going to specify a variable. So we're going to define variables and we're going to say bucket from meeting. And we're going to use a formula here to work out what the bucket of the meeting is. So look at the trigger page, which is the page uh, that is starting this automation. And we are going to say, look at the meeting and then map uh, the bucket. We're going to um, put this formula in, which is going to give us the, the project itself or the bucket itself. Uh, and so now we have that as a variable. You can actually see that Notion recognizes that it's going to be a relation. Um, it's going to be a page um, by this little icon here. Anyway, then what we're going to do is we're going to edit the property in our task database and we're going to set our bucket as, oops, was just there, um, as this variable, the bucket from the meeting. So now this is going to run when we roll out this task. And you can see it's it, the automation's run and it's rolled it out in the background. And so now this task, you know, I'll just kind of put it in. I mean, previously I could have clicked through and done it, but if you're in the meeting and you're taking, um, you know, popping tasks in either while it's going or even just following up afterwards, you don't want to have to do that. And so this automation will mean any task that gets added to this task data when it's inside a meeting, um, will automatically be connected to the project that that meeting is a part of.